What's going on guys? This is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to play YouTube videos with an app. So I'll do a little demo here. I just have one of my YouTube playlists hooked up to this video. So I want to click play video. You can see it starts loading. Hey what's up guys? This is going to be another Android Studio tutorial. I'm and there you can hear my phone in the background. So yeah you can do a lot with this API. Like you don't just have to load videos. You can load particular playlists or you can program it to do certain things at certain points in the video or there's all kinds of things you can do. So um, yeah just in this demonstration I actually loaded a playlist. So if I click next it will go to the next video in the playlist and yeah so let's uh, let's get started we'll start by creating a new project we're gonna call it YouTube player go next next empty activities fine and finish now that we got our app created the first thing we're gonna need to do is grab the YouTube API library so we're gonna go uh, Android YouTube video API in Google and just hit enter and you're gonna go to the developer link here and it should bring you to this page. So we scroll down a little bit and we can see this download page gives a link to the download API. So we click on that and just click download here. You're gonna download a zip file. I've already got it, so I'm not gonna download it again. Once it's done downloading, you'll have a zip file in your downloads folder that'll look like this. So just right click, extract it all. I just extracted it to the same folder. And once you have this um, extracted, we can go into it, go into libs and copy this YouTube Android AP player API file. So just hit copy on that and go back to your Android Studio project, go up to the top, go to project, expand this, expand app, and we're gonna paste it in the libs folder. So we just paste it, hit okay, then we right click the library, go down to add as library, and it's gonna unzip it and add it to your app. Sorry, unzip wasn't the right word there. Uh, it's gonna add the library to your app. Okay, now that we have the library added to our app, we're gonna go to our developer console, so we need to just type Google Developer Console and go to the Google API Console. And you're going to need to log in with your Google account. You can see that I'm already logged in. But once you're logged in, we go to Create a New Project. So go up to the tab up here, go to Create Project. I'm just going to call it YouTube Player and go to Create. Now that our project is created, we're going to go to Credentials here. Go to Create Credentials go to API key. So there's our API key. Cool. I'm going to grab that later. I'm just going to click close on that. And I'm going to go to API key here. And we're going to go down to select Android apps. And we're going to add a package name and a fingerprint. So click there. And we need to get our package name from the application. So let's go to YouTube player and grab our package name, which is just up here paste that in there. Now we need to get our SHA-1 certificate. So if you've watched my Firebase tutorials, it's the exact same thing as those. Go to the project, go to Gradle on the right here, go to YouTube Player, Android, and get the signing report. So just double click on that. And that's going to generate your SHA uh, key here. So just copy it and go back to the developer console, paste it in there, and click save. That should be it. We just have a quick look to see if I missed anything. Should be good. Okay, let's hit save. And now we'll go back into the API key and we need to copy this API key. So just click copy. Now we're done in the developer console. We can go to our app. Let's close this. Let's close this. And we need to add a class that's going to hold our API key. So we'll go back to Android, the Android tab up here. Expand that and we're going to create a new Java class. Uh, what am I going to call it? I'm just going to call it YouTube config. So YouTube config, and we don't need to extend anything. All this class is gonna do is hold your API key. So I'm gonna put in a default constructor. If you didn't see that, I just hit Alt, Insert, clicked on constructor, and then imported the constructor. Now I'm just gonna create a variable and it's gonna hold my API key. So we can go private, static, final string API key, and it's gonna equal the API key that we co that we copied. And then I'm just gonna make a, get a getter method to get the API key. So once again, alt insert, just do getter and setter and then uh, get API key. And because I made it private, we need to have a get method. So we're done in the YouTube config class. Now I guess let's go to activity main and let's actually make our player layout. So let's delete the text view, delete the padding, go to the design tab, go down to custom view. So advanced and then view and just drag this in. And then we can select YouTube player. So YouTube player view, sorry. Click OK. And let's make the width match parent. 
It's probably going to give you some rendering problems. Don't worry about it, just ignore it. And now we're going to put a button because we need a play button. So we're just going to throw a play button below the player. Uh, it's fine. We're going to name the player view or the YouTube player. I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it YouTube player. And then we need to put it be the button below the YouTube player. And the button's going to say play. And we're going to name the button uh, button play. And that should be good. Let's close activity main. Now in main activity. So we only need a couple variables here. We need to declare our YouTube player view, our play button, and then an on initialized listener. The on initialized listener is going to listen for after we initialize the player. Now I'll declare everything in on create. So we have our button and we have our YouTube player. Now we need to create, we need to, sorry, initialize the on initialized listener. So do on initialized listener equals new on initialized listener. And you can see, just just kept type capital O N and then you'll see this on initialized listener uh, builder here and let Android build it for you that way you don't have to type everything out so click enter on that and it'll do everything for you add your semicolon down here now we're gonna add an on click listener to the button so button play set on click listener new capital O N you can see the on click listener builder here pops up click on that now the play this play button is going to initialize our player so we need to go YouTube player view dot initialize and then we pass our API key here so we can go uh, YouTube config dot get API key and what else do we need and then we need to pass our on initialized listener you can see here just by clicking uh, control and hovering over the initialize method we can see what we need so we need the on initialized listener so let's just pass our on initialized listener and that should be good we can add some logs too why not let's go up to the top type log t to add our log Let's add a log for on create. Log D on create starting. And let's do inside our button. So log D initializing YouTube player. And we can even do a complete message too. So done initializing. Now all that's left to do is just load our video or load our playlist. So we can go on initialize success. Actually, you know what? Let's add the. Um, done initializing tag inside here so because this is this this method will get called when it's done initializing so it makes sense to put this in here and I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna actually put this inside here and say fail to initialize there we go because this is the on initialize failure method so this is gonna get called if something goes wrong when we're initializing the YouTube player so if I wanted to load one video I would just do load video and then add the string I'll just do a demonstration here so I would go load video and go to YouTube where's my YouTube that's not my YouTube so I would just go like let's go to my channel and I'll just grab a video at random uh, sure and all you do is you grab this last portion of the video URL and I would just add the string right there and that would actually load the video but if you wanted to load multiple videos we could change this to load videos and we can add a list so I could do I can create a list of strings, call it video list, and then I can do video list dot add, and I'm gonna add a new string, so I could add that same one, and I could add another one. I could do video list dot add. Let's grab another one, so close that, and let's pick another one at random. And you wanna grab, I don't think you wanna get anything after this and sign, I think you just want just this portion here so between the equals and between the and sign so let's grab that and throw it in there so now I have two videos and then I could just go video list and that would that would create a video list on the app itself so that's one way to do it you could do that or we could just add a playlist so I could go YouTube player dot add video playlist and let's go back to my YouTube channel and here's my video playlist, so I'm just gonna go to get the URL here. I'm gonna copy this portion of it. Oh, it doesn't let me, it only copies the whole thing, that's fine. So I'll go into here, I'll add this URL, and then I'm just gonna get everything after the equal sign. So that should then play that playlist. Oh, and one last thing is we gotta go into the manifest and add internet permission. So just type, start typing uses, you can see uses permission pops up and just type, grab the internet one, close the tag, and that's all we need to do, we can close the manifest. Okay, it crashed when I tried to run it, and it's because I forgot to change this. We need to extend YouTube uh, base activity. 
this this is required to use the uh, YouTube API so let's try that again okay that time it loaded now I'm gonna press play and you can see the video starts buffering and there's my playlist so now we can click next video and it'll, you can see it'll go to the next video in the playlist and it'll go through all the videos in that playlist the same thing would have happened if you added um, the list of videos except it would have just been the videos that you added to that list that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.